This video was brought to you by Bedroom Planner, Ken Power, Marcus Beal, and Stormberg. Yo, what's up? We are now outside the home, and behind me here, you see the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus from Marcus Beal. Thumbs up to Marcus Beal. So, in this series of videos, I'm going finally on a road trip with wifey. I prepare everything, we have some stuff in the back, some stuff, uh, yeah, not too much in the front. We have some in the back here, we have more. Actually, I was surprised how much luggage the Model 3 can take. You see, we are loaded to the max. We have some uh, camping chairs, tripod, some food, computers, Wi-Fi stuff. All this stuff fits in here. Surprisingly spacious. I was thinking, no, this is not going to work. We need the Model X. Well, we managed to fit everything in here. So, uh, here's Wifey. Yo, what's up? <laughs> um, I can't charge the car to 100%. The plan is that we are going on a little trip here. So, we're going to go to Omdalsnes today. It's, yeah, it's actually right there. No, that's short. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, this one, this one. Omdalsnes, yes. So uh, we charge it to 100% and the car claims we can make it all the way to Winstra with 26% left. Well, ooh, we will see then. I also have Skyman Tesla here. Let me check battery temperature. Oh, it's 40 degrees Celsius. What the heck? Uh, okay. Anyway, off we go. We are now at Winstra. I'm about to plug in, but first, before I do that, I need to clean the windscreen. It's full of schmutz. Yeah, we have the stuff over here. But just look, consumption, 156 watt hour per kilometer. We're driving for two and a half hours. Average speed was about 100 kilometers per hour. Just bear that in mind. <laughs> and we have uphill, but we had tailwind. And it's 25 degrees Celsius. And we came here with 20%. So yeah, but let's clean the windscreen first. A, B, C, always be cleaning. I'm about to plug in, it's 13.35. Let's see how long it takes to charge. Okay, we start charging, let's see. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Could we get 140 kilowatt? Okay, 130, 120, 120, We're gonna get 140, 100, oh, 140 kilowatt? No, no, almost 100, 138 kilowatt, okay. We don't see 140 kilowatt, but maybe it's because it's, we're using a little bit of power to the uh, afterburners, okay. Uh, 139, that's good enough, that's pretty good. Remember guys, this is 50 kilowatt hour net capacity. The whole battery might be less than 60 kilowatt hour, so. Getting 140 kilowatt uh, in a 60 kilowatt hour battery is actually pretty good. Now the challenge comes that we need to charge. Technically, let me check something here. Uh, if you look here, uh, but the root planner, by, by the way, uh, claimed that we need, uh, yeah, we will arrive with less juice. I don't know why I was hammering it pretty hard. We're going to go over here on Dalsness. Let's see now. How long does it take to charge here? I mean, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we only need about 10 minutes of charging, then we're good to go to Omdalsnes. But the challenge is that Wifey is going to put her on her makeup. So who's going to finish first, Wifey or Das Electro Auto? Hmm. Okay, Wifey is on the move. She's rushing it. Katai, katai, katai. Okay. Top, 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 top. 
We're already at 31%. We already gained uh, 11% now. Well, well, who's going to win now? Who's going to win? It's going to be wifey. It's going to be wifey. It's going to be wifey. He's going to see it. Okay, wifey is more stressed. I'm going to try to stretch it up. Now he's going to go. Oh, oh, it's not dropping. No, my love chat. It's doing slower. Turning slower now. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go pee then. 41. We've been charging for six minutes. We will arrive at 2%. That's plenty. That's plenty. Yeah, we're 38, uh, 39 minutes. So we've been charging for six minutes. The car is ready. Wifey, are you ready? Mm, no. She's not ready. Man, fail. I mean, win, win. Yes, car wins. Man versus machine. <laughs> so this is Vinstra Supercharger. I've been here many times before, so very nice. You know, I just realized that uh, the road to Vinst, well, I mean the road up here is has been improved over the years. So uh, you see, it took two and a half hours to get here. In the old days, it would take around three hours. So it actually means that you spend less time driving and you can hammer faster. But that also means you need more juice. But in the old days, really old days, this supercharger didn't exist. So with the superchargers and Tesla, it goes hand in hand because you will then have more charging options on your route. And then it will match this car better uh, since I don't have long range. Because if I, have, if I didn't have this supercharger here, I might have stopped at uh, Lillehamn, uh, which is not as optimal. So the more supercharger locations we have, the more optimal it will be for this car. Ideally, I wanted to drive until I have 5% left and then I can supercharge. But close enough. So nice location over here. See over here we have truck stops. Lots of trucks over there. That's one guy, he's chilling over there. He's like, oh yeah, I have my little lunch break. And here we just have parking lot. Oh yeah, huh. we have Fortnum chargers over there. Only 50 kilowatt though. See, this is the problem always that you don't have that many high power chargers. But for Teslas, they are slurping in 150 kilowatt over here. Yeah, this is, this is V2 supercharger. But actually, practically, you don't get 150. The highest I've seen usually on these V2s are um, 145 kilowatt, but that's close enough. So, um, yeah, uh, what else is to say around here? Not much, it's nice weather, 25 degrees Celsius. Someone's been eating eggs, you see? Um, yeah, eggshells. Someone's been eating egg, and they didn't bother uh, going to uh, uh, the gas station or somewhere else with the litter. They just litter around here, you see? Coffee cups over there, you know? And these are from Tesla owners because only Teslas park over here and charge over here and litter over here. So uh, that's, this is niche good. Marcus Bill on the other hand, good shit. All right, wife is done. We've gone to the restroom, we have 87%. I have a good to go to Ondalsnes camping. We are now in Ondalsnes. This is the first time I actually visit this city, well, or town rather. Mm, ooh, Rondals gondola. Yeah, we have to take the gondola tomorrow. Where is the night? I'll see, I'll see. But, but, but we ordered some uh, fried lice over here at, uh, there's a Thai restaurant. Yeah, so I'm gonna go pick it up, but let me show you here. <laughs> I only go home. 119 watt hour per kilometer from uh, the previous stop. Yeah. Ta da! Here is the cabin we rented. So it's at Undalsnes camping, and we chose to get this big ass cabin. I think we have place for 
six or eight people in here, but we just uh, stay here alone. Yes. Unfortunately, we didn't get the, one of the brighter colors, but I think all the other ones, they are booked. Yeah, they seem to be booked. But, yeah, so we have to unload the stuff. We're going to set up, uh, we're going to do some barbecue and stuff over here. I'm just going to show you that right next to uh, the cabin, we have uh, what? Reuma, right? This is the river called Reuma. Hmm, let me check if it's, uh, wait, it doesn't seem nice and shiny. I mean, nice and clear. Maybe we came here at the wrong time of the year. Yeah, I have to say that the water in, uh, in Switzerland was clearer than this. Well, I've seen also more clear water than this, but it's probably ice cold, right? <coughs> yeah, that's pretty cold. That's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, so I guess we have to do a little room inspection, right? Regular stuff. Let's check it out. Big cabin for ourselves. We have also a terrace over here. Zoop. Okay, let's go inside. Wow, very wooden style. You check here all the rooms. This one is the bathroom. Hmm, okay. Not exactly five star, but that doesn't matter. We came here for the experience. Let's check inside here. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Wait, where's the wifey going to sleep? Um, where is this? A minute. Wait a minute. Okay, we have. Oh, it's kind of. Uh, let me just. Uh, okay, we have a little sofa over here and tiny TV. Uh, the kitchen here. Ah, another bedroom here. Okay, wife and I, we can have separate bedrooms. So. Wait. Um, wife on top, right? No, I mean, she, she needs most of the space. So I guess I can sleep on top then and she can do <laughs> We'll figure out how to do this. We have some neighbors over here. Wait, is that Toyota? Yes, it's Toyota. But let's check out. The, well, let me see, what do we have here? We have a little oven. Do we have microwave? Microwave? Uh, a little kettle. Hmm. Okay, some basic uh, cookery stuff. And here. Oh, yeah. Huh? Do you like that shit? You like that shit? Mm mm mm. So I did ask about charging here and he said, well, unfortunately, there's no charging capabilities. Uh, and then he was about to tell me where I could charge. I was like, ah, that's fine. That's fine. We have supercharger right down there. Just three kilometers from here. So no problem. Oh, yeah. So we are ready to eat now. You see, I brought my electric Thai style barbecue here with some we have pork belly here. We have lots of vegetable. This is fried lice. Only vegetable also. Mm, that, that's that's a spicy sauce for wifey. So, mm, mm, mm. Gonna enjoy some dinner now. Oh. Let's try this. Mm, with some sauce. Pork belly. Mm, mm, mm. And some vegetables. Okay, so a dessert for wifey is durian. Yeah, she brought some durian. Fortunately, in Norway, they don't know what durian is. So um, yeah, we could just bring it in here. If this was Thailand, there would be signs, you know, no durian, or you will be banned if you bring durian. <laughs> mm. Good thing is that I, I mean, I can eat durian, but I don't care too much about it. So wifey gets all the durian for herself. You see, unfortunately, we cannot charge in front of the cabin, but that's fine because I had this as a backup plan that uh, the supercharger is just 1.7 kilometers away and I navigated to it and you see here pre-conditioning battery for fast charging. So this is actually a pretty unique feature that you won't find in many EVs nowadays. There, like Some brands will claim that it will preheat, let's say Volkswagen or Audi, but it actually doesn't do it. Uh, 
people have been tapping into the BMS uh, canvas and they see that nothing is happening. But here, because this is a rear wheel drive, you see that, <coughs> you know, I call it the afterburner, but we have now a rear motor is pulling three kilowatts. Battery inlet is heating up and the cell temp, yeah. So ideally what you want to do actually is to uh, fast charge right when you arrive when the battery is nice and hot. I think when we came here it was over 45 degrees Celsius in the battery pack, but as it's close enough we can see what kind of speed we get so don't expect too crazy high speed but again this is a fairly small battery we are at the supercharger now let me see uh -huh, 81 kilowatt not too shabby yeah this is the advantage of coming here in summer nice and hot summer it's 18 degrees celsius it's getting cold now so all right um i actually brought my laptop and headset so I can edit video, but then I realized, wow, we have to look at this view. Okay, let me see. Try to get some nice, oh, look, look at that, look at that, huh? Is this the best view ever at the supercharger? <laughs> wow. <coughs> Go a little bit closer. You know, I shown you guys this before. <coughs> that was a long time ago. <coughs> I think I came here with uh, Optimus Prime, yeah. But uh, the value you see here, it's called uh, Rumstar. Nice. And uh, let me see, where is the... Okay, yeah, the camping spot is a little bit further up the, the river there. Wow, really nice here. But I think for the most, uh, for the most beautiful view, you have to come here maybe two, three weeks before when you have slightly more snow and the mountains, so you get more texture in the mountains. But this is still very nice. Whew. All right, I read through some of the comments of today's video. I deleted some spammer and also did a quick edit. So I'm now rendering. This is Thai version of the house vlog, but it's going to finish in 30 minutes. Holy guacamole, is it? This computer is getting old, but whatever. Uh, I can just render uh, the rest back home. Oh, I mean back home at the, at the cabin. So, yeah, I don't know how long we stayed here, but uh, time flies and I think it's time to go back. You know, I think wife wants to check it out at the campsite. Okay, we're back at the Undalsnes camping. So now in the evening, it's, it's not that hot anymore. It's around 18, 19 degrees Celsius. So now I put on a Stormberg jacket. We're checking out. This, this is the canoe renting place let me just show you here we have lots of campers here caravans small cabins but well, right now you don't see she this is a reception yeah uh, there's a pedestrian bridge there uh, yeah I think the plan tomorrow Ooh, wait, where is this ah oh, they have uh, they have barbecue Ah, so this is uh, this is oh look at the, oh man you know we could have barbecued stuff over here mm -mm -mm, look at that nice and hot this is public barbecue for people staying here i i could feel the smell oh yeah but uh, tomorrow we're going to rent some uh, canoes yeah just wonder how how it's going to be in the daytime how hot it would be maybe it should be maybe it's a better idea to to do the canoeing when it's not too hot outside maybe in the in the afternoon evening hmm, but it seems like the stream is kind of strong here yeah wife is taking a picture just chill time yeah well you, hmm, i don't know why but the water looks more clear over here hmm but I was looking for that uh, turquoise water because in the springtime, I think when most of the snow is melting, the water should be more turquoise. Maybe we are past that uh, time already. Okay, we're just checking out the area. And th this must be the smallest cabin ever. You see, it's, it's barely, barely as big as a, as a car. So I checked the, the other cabin that was open. Just, just bed in here. That's it. 
and restroom shower stuff is over here so you see we have public restrooms and showers here so yeah you know i used to stay like this i remember it was um trollstigen yeah, yeah, yeah we also stay like this <laughs> i think i even charged miller and the falcon back in the days uh pulling a cable out from the cabin yeah and those cabins over there are slightly larger but look at this look at this surrounding huh nice surroundings Okay, it is now 1 a.m. We've been uh, slacking, playing games, I've been editing some videos. I posted a video about the BMW iX one minute past midnight, right after embargo was lifted. <laughs> but I think it's time to sleep now. So wifey gets the best and the largest bed here, but it's simply not large enough for two people. That's fine. So I'll be on top then. <laughs> <laughs> okay Ooh. well it's actually not too bad here actually not a little bit tight but okay so that is that's it guys for this episode good night mm -hmm. good night good night